Okay, as I said in my email, I, this was my plan to go over at training tonight, but since it's just too hot to train and you know, we've got a game this weekend, I don't want the players going in completely blind to what it is that we're doing. So I, I thought I would just do kind of a little chalk talk video um, so that the players can see, and, and you can see as well as parents, uh, you know what the plan is and, and what we're trying to achieve. You know, obviously, early in the season, it'll be a challenge, uh, but as we go along, hopefully the players will gain a greater understanding of it and, and really learn to kind of play within this system. So uh, this is something that was introduced to us by Kerry Zavagdan. He's the assistant coach at Sporting Kansas City, and it's the way they want us to play 9v9 because it you know, very easily transitions then into 11 v 11. So we've got a goalkeeper, four in the back, three players in the midfield. So this would be considered our midfield three here with a holding midfielder and then two attacking midfielders. And then we have a, uh, a forward as well. So we're basically playing a four, three, and one. And it may seem defensive on its face because you've got four in the back, but you'll find that these outside backs are really more like midfielders um, slash defenders, though they're kind of doing both jobs. So just working with if any time the goalkeeper has the ball, what we'll do is our two center backs, so we have two center backs, and those center backs will open to the width of the box. Um, still, you know, keeping an open body shape so they can play up the field. Um, you know, this is something that we've worked on with diamond passing, you know, with previous coaches, I'm sure they've worked on, you know, having an open body shape so they can receive it and play forward. Now we've got these outside backs pushing very high up the field. And this is something that you'll see from sporting as well. You'll see, you know, Jimmy Madronda or, or Seth Sinovic or Chance Myers, whoever's in these outside positions, you know, pushing really high up the field. And that allows then the center midfielders, the attacking midfielders to push up. And then obviously the forwards pushing up as far as they can without being offside. So then, you know, our attacking shape looks like this. So when the goalkeeper has the ball, their first priority is going to be to play it out to a player's feet. All right, we want to find somebody's feet so that we can maintain possession. If we play it out here, you know, now what we've got is we've got a diamond on this right side of the field. If we have a diamond on this right side and this player has the ball, they always have the option to go back, sorry, the ball, to go back to the goalkeeper. And so here we've got four as well. So we've got a diamond here in the back. So if we have, and we'll just for discussion's sake, uh, we'll stick a defender in here. So if, if they have a defender in here, in another color, if they have a defender there that is pressuring, now we can play keep away from that defender until we can find, you know, obviously our preference is to get forward quickly and find our attacking midfielder or find our forward. You know, from here, oftentimes it'll be a pass wide followed by a pass up, and now we're getting forward you know, to the forward and we're making runs in and attacking. If they have more than one player pressing, and we'll just flip this player around to face the ball. And so if they've got a player pressing there and then they've got another player here, you know, they're not going to very often, another team isn't going to very often play more than two players up top. So we should be looking at a four versus two. And you know, all of these players have played four versus two in, in areas that are like 12 yards wide or 15 yards wide. And this is going to be, you know, closer to, I would say, closer to 25, maybe even 30 yards wide. I'm not sure how wide the penalty area is. But this is something that we should be able to achieve and keep the ball. Always being conscious that we can play back to the goalkeeper as an additional field player. So it's not just a goalkeeper, it's also a supporting player. So when we have the ball, we're looking to you know, create these triangles and create these areas of support around the ball. You'll notice that the players on the opposite, opposite side of the field are stretching the field wider to create more space. We don't want them in here. If we have everybody in here, then we become very easy to defend because they can just concentrate their defenders in here. So the opposite side opens up and the near side or the ball side then creates that diamond shape around the ball so that we always have passing options. They shouldn't be able to take away every passing option if we have a good shape. So that's the idea with our team shape and how we're going to play. Obviously that'll change during the game as far as you know players getting the ball and then players making runs, right? So you've got a player making runs there. So maybe your center backs then have to stay home and they push up together. You have this holding midfielder, this defensive midfielder that will really play in front of our defense. And we don't want this player up here. We leave giant gaps in the middle. 
So in terms of responsibility for each player, let's just do that really fast. We've got the center backs primarily are defending players. And I'll try to rotate these players with outside players or midfielders so they get the opportunity to play in different positions. But the, if you're playing a center back position, then your role is primarily as a defender. If you're playing an outside back position, then you're looking at getting forward when you can and coming back to help when you need to. If you're a holding midfielder, then that holding midfielder's job is to play in front of our defense. So even when the ball is all the way up in the other team's penalty area and we're attacking and we're attacking, and remember, we're going to have these outside backs pressing up too, all right? then as the center midfielder, as that holding midfielder, that holding midfielder is still going to play in front of those center backs. And that'll force these players to come back too. And if that holding midfielder plays in front of our center backs, then we always have really good support. We have really good options to keep the ball and play the ball and possess it. If you're an attacking midfielder, then you've got the job of going up and back, as we just showed before. You know, we'll have those uh, attacking midfielders. We'll still play both ways. They'll still come back to help when needed. They'll go wide to pressure the ball. Let's say we lose possession of the ball and the ball's over here. If we lose possession of the ball to a player in this kind of space and they've got a teammate up here that this defender's already dealing with, you know, then we may have this player coming back to help deal with those players on the outside. So if you're playing an attacking midfielder, it doesn't mean that you're always attacking. It means sometimes you're gonna have to come back and help defend, but you're playing in front of the holding midfielder. Then lastly, if you're playing in that forward position, what I really want from our forwards is to stretch the field. And I want these defenders to play higher up the field, and we'll just add some defenders here, um, to force the other team, let's say they're playing you know, three in the back, and, and perhaps we've got a midfielder over there. So now, if they're playing that way, now we're forcing them to deal with our forward by keeping them up there. If our forward comes all the way back, well, now they can push all the way up, and they're right on top of us. So if you're playing in a forward position, you'll hear me say, get higher or, or push up um, so that you know, we can try to stretch that defense and create some space for ourselves. So that's just a basic kind of an overview of how we're playing and where we're playing. Hopefully that gives you an idea of just going into the game, you know, the responsibilities of each of the positions and, and the shape that it should look like. And I understand it's not always going to look like that and the game changes and moves. Uh, but if you have this basic understanding about the rules of the center backs, the outside backs, the holding midfielder, the attacking midfielders, and then the forward, then at least we have a good understanding of what we're doing and how we're trying to do it. So I hope that helps. We'll talk more about it at the game, uh, and we'll see you on the weekend. Thanks.